Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we will understand the difference between equal to colon equal to. Okay, and another difference is between single quotation and double quotation. We will see this with a clear example. Okay, so first I'll tell you what is equal to. Equal to is a comparison operation okay comparison operator so what is this comparison operator it will like if you are uh, already if you uh, know programming if you have done your programming in either c or c plus plus or java then you will definitely understand this instead of double equal to which means that you are checking whether the age is equal to 18 okay you are checking whether the age entered is equal to 18 this is what you are comparing the variable and the age here okay so this was comparison operator so double equal to uh, which this this double equal to in a language it is single equal to okay which is a comparison operator whereas this colon equal to is an assignment operator so what do you mean by assignment operator you are assigning a value to your variable for example you have declared a value h okay as integer okay and now you are trying to uh, assign a value to this particular h h colon equal to 18 which means that you are assigning this 18 to this variable h now this h will hold the value 18 got it this is the difference between colon equal to and the single equal to and there is no double equal to in AL or <coughs> business central because this double equal to in other languages we will call this as a comparison operator to check equality okay whereas here we have only single equal to which is used to check the equality okay so shall we proceed with the code okay we shall proceed so t page i'm just creating a single simple page okay and i'm just naming this as an operator <clears throat> and I don't want any source table here so I'm just leaving it as such and under that I'm just creating a variable which is h okay I'm just making it as integer this is creating that is I am declaring a variable this is not assigning a variable I'm declaring a variable here okay and here I'm just going to assign a variable so h okay and inside I'm just going to create uh, trigger and I'm going to create um, trigger on validate and this is a local variable I'm creating okay okay this is a local variable so what I'm going to do is what h colon equal to 18 so what I'm doing here here I am assigning the value that is a local variable with the age 18 okay and I'm now I'm checking if age is less than the 18 then age must be greater than 18 so instead of less than I'm using an equal to symbol which means that if age is equal to 18 then he is eligible for oat or eligible to oat okay eligible to okay so this is a message what i am going to declare is what actually it should be greater than or equal to 18 so a should be either equal to 18 or greater than 18 okay uh, so this is what so here it will check the equality okay or else you can tell now it is 18 okay else message now it's not 18 okay it's a very simple thing I'm just showing because how to use the equality how to use the equality for that I'm just showing this got it so this is a very simple example here it is checking the equality it will check whether the age is equal to 18 or not whether whether the age the value whether this particular variable is uh, equal to 18 or not. even I can declare this 19 okay and I can check whether the age is equal to 18 no the age is equal to 19 okay then it will display you now it is not 18 
got it so this is the difference between a uh, colon equal to and equal to so equal to means it is checking the equality okay which means that equivalent operator equality operator and colon equal to means assigning you are assigning a value to a variable got it so now let us go to the next one which is single quote and double quote you can use both single quote and double quote but what is the difference so single quotes are used to surround a string literals okay it's used to surround what a string literal for example so i am declaring here phone number it's going to declare this as a i'm going to declare this as a text so let us make it as string. so it is a string literal so i'm going to uh, uh, i'm going to just assign the value for this okay so what i'm going to do is what i can here i can uh, <coughs> okay so here i'm just going to add it for example um, inside the begin i can create it like this okay so i can tell that phone number is equal to single quotation so here i'm using a single quotation because i'm representing a string literal um, okay i'm assigning a value to this so it will accept all the uh, special characters and everything but what is this so single quotes single quotes is actually used here to surround a string literal then what is a double quote so double quotes are used to surround an identifier or a variable for example if i'm going to uh, create like this okay phone space number okay i want a, a variable or a field with this okay so this should be as also a text but here what is happening is what i am using a dot okay which is not a proper variable declaration method so here i cannot go and use this single quotation you can argue okay anyhow this is a string right you are also uh, using a string variable here which is a combination of dot and asterisk but here this means once if you uh, once if you use the single colon which means this which means that whatever is there in the left side of the colon is an identifier or a variable and whatever is there in the right side of the colon is the value which you are trying to assign or the data type which you are trying to assign to that particular variable okay so what is happening here is what left side it is looking for an identifier and you are trying to put it enclose it within a single quotation which is not acceptable so in this case you have to go with a double quotes okay now what happens here so the double quotes are used to surround an identifier a variable or a procedure name you can create a procedure name like this with a single quote double quotes this may contain any character other than the numeral or upper case and the lower case anything but if you wanted to create any variable with a uh, with the dots or any other uh, capital letters or small letters or even if you wanted to create something like an email okay e hyphen mail in that case you have to go with a double quotes not with a single quotes okay so this is how you can create it so uh, this is the example this is the best example for uh, a colon colon equal to uh, okay so uh, when will we will be using a colon which is to assign a value uh, uh, like as an a create a variable with a data type okay so this is like to assign a value to the variable and equal to which means that you are checking the equality and single quotes which is uh, which surrounds the string literals that is a value which you are assigning for the string and the double quotes which is used to surround an identifier a variable or a procedure whatever it may be that it's an identifier you are writing inside a variable or a procedure you are trying to create okay so i think you understand what uh, what is the difference so in the next video we will see some more uh, differences between um, uh, between the other operators and if you have any specific queries queries please leave that in the comment box i'll be definitely there to help you out thank you take care bye bye